Here we are with the Audi A5 again, getting ready to um, throw the motor in. We got the turbo manifold completely installed. Uh, we went ahead and, and went crazy with it. Uh, put some RTV on the gasket because we were reusing that gasket just to make sure it doesn't leak. Got all your PCV, vacuum lines, everything. Got all the uh, the oil lines set up with new washers. If you look through, I don't know if you can see from up here. Let's see if you can see that. See the new washers on that one down there too? Come down over here and show you from this angle. They got this heat shield protector on it. Had a new line with new fittings. Have a uh, a hydraulic grade hose on that other connection. Um, had a, a regular hose on it. Wasn't good enough. Uh, resealed everything. The, the heat shield didn't fit on the hydraulic hose. It was too thick for it. And that's hydraulic hose. It's really tough and durable. It honestly doesn't need it at all. Um, got the lower motor mount bracket installed. What else can I show you under here? We got the, uh, the starter lined up and ready to get hooked up. Um, the starter has... Um, the connections on this side. No, if you can see that. There you go. So that'll actually be the first thing I connect before I drop it into the engine bay. Uh, as I'm getting ready to set the engine down, I'll be already connecting that wire as long as it stretches far enough to do it. Um, it's hanging on the floor over here. So that'll be the first thing I do with that. Over here, I got uh, all the plumbing ran through, Take, took everything off of the old engine. Got all your hoses and everything going to the heater hose, ran through everything on this side of the engine, bolted up, intake, fuel injectors, oil filter. Got a new Wix oil filter on there. Got all the lines bolted in, new timing cover seal. Everything here is done. Just a matter of uh, attach the AC compressor, power steering pump, obviously, once it's in the vehicle. Get everything buttoned up and connected. That's the old engine over here. It's the old engine. Had a lot of carbon build up inside of it. I don't know how well you can see that. It was pretty bad in there. He thought, um, had bad piston rings. I just think it had gunked up head. But um, anyways, this motor's out. These engines are, uh, oh, excuse me for yawning on y'all. These engines are um, direct port fuel injection. And um, they build up a lot of carbon in, inside of them because of that. Uh, we still have a few things to do before I drop it in. I got to put that plate on. Um, I got to then... Add this one of these two plates. I'll probably go with the green one. Now uh, that's the old clutch. The new clutch is installed. Everything there is good to go. Motor mounts are in. And that's where the engine's going to sit up against those two motor mounts. Come up against here, get bolted in. Got the AC compressor I'll be bringing down along this side, power steering pump. 
and uh, running all my hoses through the back. Uh, right now, the final step would be the rear main seal. As you can see, I got the rear main seal off. That's nice and cleaned up. Everything cleaned up and ready to go with the new seal. Um, this is the old seal over here. And this is the new seal right here. This thing was glued on there pretty well. So we'll make sure we glue this one on the same way. Put our glue on and, and bolt that and bolt that on once that's bolted on then we'll put that uh flex plate washer whatever you want to call it spacer whatever and then we'll do the green plate there and at that point we can attach it to there so uh that's what's on the agenda we've been working slow we've been working injured but slow progress is better than no progress, right? Uh, we got everything in a box over here that came off of the other engine for him to take with them. So um, I'm not going to attach everything to that engine because it'll probably just break when he goes to transport it. Just let him take the box with him. And uh, this engine needs to be cleaned out and rebuilt anyway, so there's no point in bolting anything up to it. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to document it's ready to go back on. Uh, it's, it's been a long time coming, but, um, as you can see, she's ready to go right back into her new home. Uh, this engine has very low miles compared to this engine. The intake ports are very clean. So this car is going to feel very lively. It has a stage three, I want to say clutch from clutch performance so um it's got all new gasket it's not gonna leak anything you know the turbo is leaking valve cover was leaking all kind of stuff was leaking it was a it was just nasty under there we've gone through two boxes of brake cleaner to clean this thing up she was a leaker this girl ain't so uh we're gonna get her, get her installed and then work on putting the front end the inner cooler all that back on Get the front bumper, headlights, all that back on it, and go for a test drive. Thanks for uh, watching, y'all. Keep y'all posted on the next video. Little by little, we're working on it. Uh, I got an injured hand, limited movement with it, so I do what I can as soon as the nuts and bolts make me strain it in certain ways. The nerve or tendon, whatever it is, starts throbbing. Uh, stop go take a pain pill relax for a while when I start feeling better I come back and try to see what else I can do before it starts hurting again so little by little we're inching our way forward on finishing this uh, project it needs to get out of my garage so we'll be making another video soon with more progress with it installed in the vehicle and everything this video kind of just covers my ass on Nobody being able to come back and say, well, I don't know if he replaced that rear main seal or not. You know, he said he was, but, uh, you know, so these things kind of just cover my ass on. Yes, the rear main seal was installed. Yes, everything underneath the turbo manifold was done correctly. Everything on the intake side was done correctly. No leaks, no issues. We got a clean, sealed, nice, pretty new engine getting ready to go in the engine bay. And uh, like I said, slow progress is better than no progress, but we're not going to half-ass anything rushing it. And I damn sure don't want to injure my arm permanently and be out of work even longer. So thanks for staying in tune. Catch you on the next video. Peace.